Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Cam Boss, and today we're going to be talking about the topic of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, or Battlefield 1. Now, I might get a lot of hate on this video, I might get a lot of support. That is up to you guys. It all depends on the game you want to see. Now, I watched both trailers, obviously. I've, um, I've made some decisions about, you know, what I thought was best. And just looking at it, I agree, like, a lot more with the Battlefield 1 trailer and not the, um, the Infinite Warfare trailer. Like, Battlefield 1 has gas masks. So that could, that could lead to, like, a whole new, like, like, that could bring in, like, a lot of, like, new, like, functions to, like, Battlefield itself. And, like, here you look at Infinite Warfare, and we still have the same supply drops. We still have everything. But, like, it's not, it's not anything new, though. But, but then, like, you look at, like, you look at Battlefield 1, and, like, you're sitting there like, Oh, yo, wait, this is going way back. World War One back, and like there's bayonets, there's gas masks. It's everything we could have wanted from a Call of Duty game, but we won't get because Call of Duty is going to stick. You know we have to move towards the future, but like whenever you think about it, why move towards the future whenever everyone wants the past? Like no one wants another Call of Duty game set into the future. It's just. It wasn't meant to happen. But, like... So, watching the trailer for Battlefield 1, you think... Oh, my bad. You think they thought of the fans. But then, I look at... I look at Infinite Warfare, and I think, Okay, there's so much wrong with this trailer, okay? But, Battlefield 1 has everything, like, we need. Like, it has so much potential, and Call of Duty is trying to rip it down, yet Call of Duty's not doing anything right. They're doing, the, like, literally quite the opposite of what we want. We want a game set in the past. We want, like, World War II type stuff with, like, M16s. Not games where it's like, oh, yeah, you want this? No, too bad. So, all I'm saying is, you want, like, if Call of Duty wanted to make a better game, they wouldn't make... They wouldn't make this game. They would stop production, make us wait another year, and make a World War II game. You know, that's just my thoughts. You can agree, you can disagree. Hey, not something that you wanted to make. Like, whenever they made Battlefield 1, they thought of the fans. But then I look at I look at Infinite Warfare and I think, okay, there's so much wrong with this trailer, okay. But Battlefield 1 has everything like we need. Like, it has so much potential, and Call of Duty is trying to rip it down, yet Call of Duty's not doing anything right. They're doing, the, like, literally quite the opposite of what we want. We want a game set in the past. We want, like, World War II type stuff with, like, M16s. Not games where it's like, oh, yeah, you want this? No, too bad. So, all I'm saying is, you want, like, if Call of Duty wanted to make a better game, they wouldn't make... They wouldn't make this game. They would stop production, make us wait another year, and make a World War II game. You know, that's just my thoughts. You can agree, you can disagree. See you guys next time. Peace.